Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 17th of Jan, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Anthony the Abbot. Saint Anthony the Abbot was born and brought up in Egypt when he came to the age of 15. He left everything that he had and went to the deserts. Saint Anthony the Abbot sold everything, gave it to the poor and retired to the desert. For 15 years, he was in a deserted tomb and then for 20 years, he shut himself in an abandoned fort by the mountainside. The number of his disciples nevertheless grew, who increased and continually settled down in nearby caves and huts. And in 305, they succeeded in persuading Anthony to become their spiritual guide. The saint emerged as, not as expected after his rigorous fast, to be very, very healthy. For five years, Anthony devoted himself completely to the organization and the spiritual benefit of his disciples. And in the year 311, Anthony went to Alexandria to encourage faithful who were smarting under the Maximian persecution before he could desert himself to a mountainside desert in Klisma between the Nile and the Red Sea, where there stands to this day Dermar Antonius, a monastery named after him. Here he spent the remaining 45 years of his life advising, inspiring every person who came to him and making frequent visits to his first foundation, Der El Mermum. About 335, he went once more to Alexandria and preached against the errors of Arians and Manichaeans. Anthony shared a deep bond with Saint Athanasius, who has left us an authentic life of saintly founder of Christian monasticism, portraying him as highly dignified, full of divine joy and peace, and filled with marvelous zeal for God's work. He died at the venerable old age of 105, and his intercession is sought especially in cases of epilepsy, pestilence, and erispialis, and skin diseases. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are reflecting upon a great saint who left everything and lived alone. How difficult it is for us to leave things? Can we be without WhatsApp? Can we be without Facebook? Can we be without talking to people? Can we be without getting feedback from people? We are always people who are looking for response, looking for reaction. But he was someone who was waiting to receive the Spirit, waiting always for the Lord to speak. So let's pray that through the intercession of Saint Anthony the Abbot, we may Learn to say no to the world and yes to the Lord. Amen.